So today I'm going to show you a new feature we added to Hibite in 2.1 to publish data to Google Cloud Pub Sub. So to do that, the first thing you'll need is a Google account. I've already uh, created an account, and the first thing you do after the account is create a project. So I've created a project as well. So I won't show you that process, but once you get there with your project, uh, the first thing we're going to do is jump over to uh, PubSub. So in, if you type PubSub, I uh, actually had one here. I'm going to delete this topic. Oops. Uh, delete. And we're just going to recreate it from scratch. Uh, so we'll call this, uh, call it something different, Aaron Data. And we'll create a topic that we can publish to. And we'll just use the default configuration. The, the next thing we'll need is uh, we'll need to create a service account that we can authenticate with in order to publish to that topic. So I'm going to jump in here to service accounts and create an account. I'm just going to call it Aaron Test. Um, and we're pretty much going to leave this defaults. So the one thing we do need to do is under roles, we're going to type um, pub, pub sub. And if you scroll down, you'll find a publisher, pub sub publisher. So we're, we're publishing only so we can give it this role. Now you can get really specific in here on what topics they can publish to, what topics they can subscribe to. But we're just going to kind of give a overall access just for the ease of this demo. And it comes up to say the policy is out of date uh, for me, so I'm just going to update that, and it seems to fix it fine on its own. So now they have the account, we need the credentials. So we're going to click the account and go to Manage Keys. And then we're going to add a key. And we're going to keep the JSON format. And what this is going to do is give us a JSON file. And you, you'll probably want to cache this file somewhere because you, you don't get it again. This is the one time uh, Google creates it. And now we have all the information we need to make the connection. So I'm going to jump over to Hibite now and create Google Pub Sub connection. And you'll see we've got a new... Google connector in the list, hit next. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is that service account JSON file. I'm just going to paste that there verbatim. And then the other piece I need is a project ID. So if you click up here, the project ID isn't, it's not the name, right? It's the ID. So in this case, I think I left it to a default. And what I actually want here is the ID. And the, the ID is actually in the, uh, the JSON as well. So I'm going to hit submit. And the last thing I'm going to do is create, in Hibite, is create an output. And I'm just going to call this out. Actually, I'm going to call it uh, Aaron Data. Now, this is the name of the topic that we created. I'm going to jump back quick to PubSub. You'll see this is the, the ID of the topic we created. I called it Aaron Data. And now I'm going to take in Highbyte, I've already defined a really simple asset model that has an ID running minutes, and it's just filled in with defaults. And I'm going to create a flow, call it to Google, and I'm going to take the instance, that asset one instance, and I'm going to pipe that out to the new Google PubSub output. I'm going to back it down to every 10 seconds. I'm just going to send the whole thing. And then I'm going to check my log to see the flow started, and it doesn't look like uh, we're getting any errors. So, good sign. Probably means the data is arriving. So, in inside of Google, I'm going to click on the topic. And if you scroll, there's multiple ways to get here, but one way is if you scroll down and look at subscriptions, uh, it creates a subscription for you on the topic. So, I can hit that. And it doesn't look like it's on the dashboard, but if I click View Messages and then I do a pull request, yeah, we'll see the data coming through, right? And I could pull more and I'll get additional data, but you can see the timestamp of when it arrived and then the actual message body, which is JSON. And then in this view, they'll break that down for you to show you 
uh, the different attributes. So the name, asset one, timestamp, uh, error new data, just the junk that I put in there. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm publishing this data into to Google Cloud PubSub. I can subscribe and pull that back out, but it's now available inside the Google platform. So it's really simple, uh, really easy to set up, and hopefully that's something you can leverage uh, yourself.